everything out? You got everything out? Yeah, yeah. The rest we put down I should take one thing back with you, is that alright? That big thing, that can be stored. We don't need that yet. That's for Chester only, that. Yeah. Sees this much when you're building it. Is that because you're a serial builder? Right. It's only when you bring it all back in it with it. Do you realise how much stuff there is? one off here because that one's going to go on there so I'm off the top yeah. we're really struggling now here but we need to take this one off this one yeah right. just over the just yeah. Pete can take it down towards him you pass it to me and I'll walk with Pete and we just need to put it down for a minute. So that's it, come right. Hold on. Wait, hang on, wait. Right, around. Come down here now. So just drop it here for a minute. Just drop it there. No, no, go in there. Put on there, right. Yep. Yeah. You go in. Watch your back. Yep. Right? Yep, you can do this for a minute. Right, mate. Just bring her in. Come on. Right? You in? Now we're on that one. Back on top. Where are you in in a second? Okay. Oh, not yet. There you go. 
watch it. One more and then we lift it. Hey! No, grab there. It's about to rain. No, I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't. I mean, it's where the beam, Pete? Here, five hundred of them. Right. You'll take this one out. Yeah. Okay, Hold it there. Show me some of them. This is our new section. Um, this is Blissworth. So this is a new little feature that Hornby have asked us to build, which I quite like the idea. So this is a, again, this is this is different from anything we've done before. So we're pushing out the uh, differences to make sure that we do things a bit different. So this effectively, what you've seen being built here is a permanent is um for tampers and uh, permanent way bits and pieces right so andy can put his fancy little machines somewhere and this is at blissworth and of course what you'll notice you can't really notice this at the minute but you can see there's nothing at the back here yes and that's for a reason because that you won't see that's going to be hidden okay so this is only going to be two track okay so you're going to go you're going to have for the first time a two track section like we had in the very first layout right we're going back to a two track section okay is this dedicated storage for andy's fancy toys then yeah all right well it isn't but uh, kid him kid him along yeah. you know he likes to feel special all right well I'll, I'll revisit it when do you need something by well the sooner the right because if it's not going to work, we're going to have to get Andy to start making them. Right. Oh, you t you've talked to him about it? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, like I say, otherwise we're going to have to get Andy to make them. Okay. It it's not a two minute job doing them by hand. There's some beams here. Bit of a screw. Uh -huh. Screw loose. Morning. Good. Another bolt there. Oh, yeah. Do you want washer? Uh, no, I've got washers, alright. Right. And they're not parallel. They come together so that you've got that parallel section. Right. Keep them boxes off the grass, please. Yep. Just wait. Lift the table. Yeah. 
Just put the pack in. Oh, hang on. Just put the pack in under first. To get it so the packing's it's sitting on the packing. You got it, John? That's on packing. Yeah. Right. right, the other side isn't it? Push it to this now. No, you see, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got two eyes, John. Two eyes. Yep. How's that, Pete? Yeah, not far that, mate. Just a fraction more. Fraction. That'll do you. Yeah? Well, yeah, well, yeah. Right, mate. Well, that's <coughs> Give us your... Have you got one of these? Oh. I put a bolt in at the same Oh, two nuts, two nuts. Got no, one nut, two two washers. Two washers. Right, right, right. 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 Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got something else, thank you. Deballing, here you go. There you go. <laughs> so what's deballing? Explain it to us. Uh, <laughs> I'd say it's like grating cheese. <laughs> Wait. It's just great, it's like grating cheese, it is. You're just separating out the strands. Just grating cheese. <laughs> Where's me... Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's it, oh gosh, it is like grating cheese though. Like so cheese what do you do? Though. Rub it around? <laughs> yeah. do, do you know what? This just sounds so dodgy. Is that uh, therapeutic? I think it can be. I can just sit here and watch all the men. So what's the end result? All the grass on the bottom, on the white paper? Yeah. yeah. Which goes back into the flocker. Back in the flocker, that's it. Does that ball up in the flocker? That's it, yeah. That's why, ah. that's why we're using it for, because it balls up. Right. That's why my work's oh, never done. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I'm a volunteer here, has volunteered to do it. <laughs> She'll never come again. <laughs> well, you've been busy. You've got some flocking down there now, haven't you? And it's looking good. How many coats of flocking has it had applied to it? Only two so far. All right. And how many do you Four anticipate? Four six, I reckon. All right. Three, because the next one will be a brown. Okay, mix it up a bit. Yeah, just breaks it all down. Very it's good. A more, it's a bit more natural. And then it's onto the bushes and the trees, is it, it's after that? Bush. Yeah, then we're going back to the conversation about <laughs> trees. People trying to sneak things from abroad. Oh. Back from international. Oh, I saw that, yes. I oh. must admit, yeah, those the trees website. didn't look very good in that in that bag. She's good until the until the mice decide to destroy them. No, I'm talking about what she he bought from Germany. Oh, that's they, good. Yeah, they looked. Or well, seafoam. Seafoam's nice. It's just very expensive. Do you get what you pay for? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Of course, everything get expensive now, isn't it? Well. Wow. Volunteered to do some earlier. Yeah, because yeah. they've got a wiper inside that. Yeah. Well, if you're doing it that way, it will serve it. Yes. From the switch to the servo. No, the switch goes from like a mega points driver board. Ah, that's it. yes, of course. But, but what yeah, you yeah. can do, you can either use relays like I do, or if you have a double pole, double throw switch, one side of your switch goes to your mega points, the other side of your switch goes to your frog. Mm -hmm. A switch. Uh, when that's the one the six gun. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. So, John, just stick your that there and look for the photographer who's coming round. Taking bets on the width. Seven foot I'm saying now what's this what are you saying? What? The columns. The columns. Oh I'm not too Oh you've got to say have you got to give us a figure. Six foot three and a half.
Right, I like this, it's got three and a half. How much are you putting on yours? Good. It's a five we're riding on this one. I need to join it to this. Get filters, put the two together. Have you got some insulated fish? Right? Yes. Join these, this and place it so that I can line this up with it. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. Good, thanks. <coughs> Is there? There. So there's before coming out of there. Hey. This is all hidden. You won't see any of this. No. All you're seeing is this bit that we're putting in there. That there, the bridge goes across there. Yeah. And this is the tempest. Oh. I think it's, you've lined this up with the other board and that's long. That's left. That's left a bit floating at the minute. No, but I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I can take that out. I need to get this in before I get that in. So what I was going to say is a quick guesstimate if you measure off that edge. I've done that. That's exactly what I've done. That's exactly what I've done. But I've left myself a bit of a jiggle. Jiggle. So that let's get this in first. You, you want to. So is that going there? That one's going there somewhere, and then this one's going there somewhere. This is the, the, the temper sign at Blizzard, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So this is the main line. That's the, these two are the mains. This is a crossover. This is crossover at Blizzard, is it? No idea. You've driven it, you should know. Yeah, I know. It's a pretty long while ago. Um, yeah, so it's going like that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no. Hang on with Phil, let's just get this bit. Go on that one in first, do you? Hey? That one in there. Yeah, I want to get this lined up first. I need my drill. Yeah. We'll need your drills. If we get this one in first, we've got a fighting chance then. Yeah. 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 We've got a fighting chance now. What about have you got a piece for here? Hey? Hey? Have you got a piece? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to get this lined up for this That's the point. I've got to get. This is a crucial piece here before that. So I've got to get is this is this on these this bit like here before I get that bit there if you get what I mean. Where do you want them? Because there's a bit of jiggle in them. That'll do, there. Well, no, no. Yeah, anywhere around there. Just allow me to jiggle them. Not that big. I'm happy with you there. I'd like to say thank you to all your people that have pointed out that there's a quick way of ballasting. So for all the people that blogged and thanked me for showing them a quick way. Right. They're very welcome. Yep, they are welcome. <laughs> Can't believe some of the methods that some of them have been using. Oh yeah, it's hard work. Well, I'd say there's a, a million ways to do the same thing in this hobby. Yeah, but you're going to make it difficult, Dave. That's no point, is there? Well, I'm always doing it difficult until I learn something better. And it's yeah. by talking and watching videos, I'll learn better ways. Sometimes they're better, sometimes they're not. Yeah, but I mean, to, you know, 
the hobby's moved on, materials have moved on in the last 40 years. Yeah. And the people that are still doing it like they did it 40 years ago, well, that's ridiculous. We'll start with John. There we are. Yeah. Weather in the track. Weather in mate, yeah. So Pete's laid the ballast. Right. And then it's a case now of just getting some of this on the and basically dry brushing it. Get the chairs coloured, get the inside of the rail coloured, and then we'll go over to the track rubber and that should be enough then. Are the uh, these this uh, stuff uh, Phil's made looks quite sturdy, doesn't it? This uh, plywood base for the uh, viaduct. Yeah, so I think it's just sort of a box construction. It's got four sides and also a bottom. Um, so it makes it lightweight, solid, and then fill the fill the gaps on the top. He did show me a pic picture of the viaduct, the engineering drawing, so I guess that's in progress as well. Yeah, I think he's hoping for it by Thursday. Yeah. That's the plan. I was just saying on the last video actually that it's great to see four parallel lines they're quite unusual on this layout aren't especially they? especially with the sweep and it will also give the people that come to see it when it's stood where you are be able to see the back yes rather than seeing it just from one side they'll be able to see the back of these lines as well so and there's lots of new camera angles we'll be able to play with yeah plenty of photos and yeah the only um, thing for us is it's you can't leave anything to hide you've got to be able to stuff like this it's doing both sides of the track yes you can see both sides on Britain's most photographed and videoed layout. <laughs> True it's got to be, hasn't it? All 208 feet of it. Yes. Well, we'll film every single foot by the inch. Yeah, well, that's it. So Rob's just doing the outsides, I'm doing the insides, and hopefully we'll get it all done. Fine work there, Robin. Sorry? Fine work there. Fine work, yeah. yes. There are two, two ways of looking at it. I've been told off for being an artist. Okay, what you've got to slap it on, slap have it you? On. Yeah. When I'm doing something that's repetitive in my world of electronics, I actually find it quite therapeutic. Yeah. I relish the time when I'm just executing, I'm doing, rather than having to think. Yes. I find thinking quite hard these days. <laughs> well, it's for, best avoided. For making track three, when they were doing the overhead gantries, the you know the big ones that have all the okay, triangular right, 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 sections. Yeah. 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 They just okay, gave right. me a big sheet right. of laser cut right. yeah, ply with all the gantries on, yeah. and it was well, me so that punched out YouTube all the little triangles. And what that's do. fine by me. I can do that all day long. You're welcome, yeah. Careful what you say, it I might know. go on the video. It went on the middle of your video. My wife says, there you are, telling people what to do. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be kicked out soon, you know. Oh, but I've washed up now, so pizzas are good back next week. Oh, great. <laughs> are you just starting? Are you just getting stuck in now? Yeah, well, I've made tea for everybody as well, you know. So I I've, got, I've, got, I've got two weeks free now. All oh, right. That's right, isn't it, Pete? Yeah. Ted, I think he's <laughs> adding bloody 20 kilos on my weight. Don't you blame my camera. <laughs> you all right? How's it going, Dave? All right. <clears throat> Hard at work? Well, I've got, got, got all to this. Did you bring some uh, something new today for us? Oh, um, all the beams. Okay. All the beams here and all the lights. Here. In TFF, the final frontier. <laughs> oh, dear. I asked Pete the, uh, the other week on video how many ears Pete Waterman's got. Ears? Yeah. Do you know the answer? No. Left ear, a right ear, and a final frontier. And a final frontier. Well, this is it. TFF. <clears throat> That's so a grand up, TFF. <clears throat> right. So, all I've got right now. Is... So, so go on, what have you got left to do? Uh, I've got another six of them to do, because I ran out of tin. I okay. Didn't, I didn't order enough. Right. Another six legs, and that's them finished. Yeah. All the beams are finished. Right. I've then got, I'm just sorting these out for Pete, these um, senior bits. I just made that frame yesterday. Okay, is that to be a, a base for the top? Yeah, it's going to go in here, but it, it, it's done this and it's not right. So right. I'll sort it out. It's a bit iffy. You get it, like, you get it that end, he wants it that end, and it's on the top that end. So. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's not you know, what I'll sort that out. And uh, I've done the other one at the other end. Uh, I've just got to make the back scenes now. 
Right. I'm, I'm halfway through making the lights. I've got to make another four, a dozen lights. How many lights have you made in total now? The overhead lights. All together? Yeah, quite a few, I should imagine. Yeah, I'm probably getting up to about 50, I would think. Um, I've got to make, and the, the last job then is a, about, I've got to make about 10 vaccines, I think. Right. Phil's going to sort it out after. And then the only last thing after that is the end boards. So I'm not far away now. Okay. I'll be done by the end of February. Oh, good. You're in, you're in under control by looks of it, and in control. Well, yeah, these, these are the bees. They're all, they're all done with it. Right. Just get one out and show you anything. So I made them easier for the legs to go in now. Right. Just got a socket in them. So there's no no nut needed now, we're just just a bolt through. So that. it's captive. Yeah, it goes in. You've seen it before, Davis. Yeah. You can just drop it in there now. Like that. Just one bolt now and a washer. Right. And that's it, so it's a pretty quick job now to put them up. Good. But I'm gonna try and get the rest. Some of the others done as well, the old ones. Right. Because we messed about with nuts and bolts with them and it, it all takes time, doesn't it? Yes. So. And that's what we're learning now, isn't it? How to uh, assemble it in a hurry. In a quick. Which is quicker. difficult yeah. when it's uh, always a one-off. Well, the problem is, you, you need, because it's bigger, we're going to need more help. Yeah. So, the, what you don't want is helpers that come saying, <laughs> we're going to help you. And then when, you, when they're with you, they then say, how do we do this? What do we do? So you've got to tell them, you know, we want to sort all that out beforehand before we get there. Right. We don't want to get to mm. NEC and then you're having to, you might as well do it yourself while you're telling somebody. Right. You can have it done quicker. Yes. What you want is to say, you do that job and we'll do this job. Do we know how many days we've got to put this up? Pete says one. No, I, don't, I can't. I'm, and I, I've night. got my own views. I've, I've, yeah. I've been in business for, what, 40 years. I had been in business and I know what, it's, I know what it takes to. To, uh, good at estimating how jobs, long jobs are going to take. And believe you me, I think if you can get 208 feet layout by 12 it, in a day. Well, how many baseboards are there in that layout? Uh, there'll now be, I think there'll be, well, 208 is um, 20, 26, 50, 54 baseboards. 54 baseboards. 54 baseboards. 54 eight foot baseboards. So 25 people with two baseboards each, you've got half a chance. It's not as easy as that. No, I know. Because get together in the right order. You've got to put the tables up, <clears> and the tables have got to be level. Yeah. And they've got to be the right distance apart. You can't right. just start banging tables up and the board on. Yes. You know, it's because there's, there's, of all these fifty-four mm. boards, there'll only be about probably thirty odd tables because mm. we have about a four-foot gap between them. Yeah. So you've got to work down from both ends. You can't say you've got two hundred eight foot away. Start. Yeah, start start working. You can assemble me. the table, yeah. but you can't put them in. You've got to work down from one end. Yeah, and you've got to. And get, it's yes. got to be level. It's quite unusual this because the tables yeah. don't set the interlocking. It's the baseboards on top, isn't it's it? Base, well, the baseboards only need a support, you see. <clears throat> yeah. So the table can be. I mean, these are eight foot boards. You could mm. have them spanning seven foot six. Yeah, it wouldn't it, be a problem. Know, as long as they cross at each end. Yeah. Because I mean, these boards you can you know you put a card on them. They're strong. So it's not, it's not a problem, you're not, you're not going to get it, but any uh, well, sagging in the middle. Well, Chris has put 120 cars on one, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, very good, Dave. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but, um, so I'm just going to redo this. I'll, right. I'll do that tomorrow morning to get that done. So I'll just, I'll take this off. It's, look at it. It needs a bit of love, does it? Who wants? All right. Got it. Are you yeah, I'm with you now. Yeah. Hold it up, stop it falling down. Yeah, so it holds it up like putting a top on it. And this is uh, the tunnel entrance. Yeah, and that, well, the one at the far end over there, I'll yeah. show you that. Well, I've, I've ripped it all out, you, actually. Oh, OK. You can have a look. It'll, it, 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 I think it goes about 300 mil on the other board. OK. So it'll, it'll be the same as that. And Very good. 
So it's all, all right, it'll all be right. It'll be right mm -hmm. on the night, as you say, it'll be right on the night. I think it's, it's easier yeah. to let the brush in it rather than yeah. water that down. Yeah. Like I say, you, like I say, you think yeah, about yeah. it, when it comes up, send me a, a WhatsApp, and then what I'll do is I'll, 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 I'll order them straight away, you know. The top of the price range, yeah. Well, if you don't buy it, it's just what happens is if someone else is going to push it. Yeah. When they go out of date, you get measured or something like that. And then on the iPhone 5 or something like that. You know, Did you do a good job, John. Get in there, mate. What about me? 100, 203 foot to go. Doing a good job, John. <laughs> 432 feet away around times four. Well, I'm not doing the fiddle yard. Why not? <laughs> Gotta be consistent. Saving that for you, mate. I thought, I thought that was a new idea to uh, see if I had a fiddle yard so you get more realistic look. I've been you? saying we should see if I had a fiddle yard since year one. Yeah. Just chuck a load of ballast down and some grass. Big arm. Big arm, Action! Dave, I said action, not destruction. Do you feel better now? Yeah. Arr. Give it, Dave. I want, I want that piece. Give us a roar. Give us a roar. Ah. Ah. How's that, Dave? Oh, it's great. No, you need to follow it up with a roar now. What I'm doing. Oh. So, it's still here. as if by magic yeah. now, we should have yeah. the clear right. rail top and well, sides and chairs done. Brilliant. Then you're going to rinse and repeat on the other side. Rinse and repeat, yeah. yeah. Well, you want some ballast down first, don't you? Yeah, we'll yeah. wait till uh, they finish laying that and then. There you go, that trap them. So, what we're trying to do here with Dave. <laughs> sounds mad. Is we're trying to work out uh, how big the station boards, name boards, should be for Bushy and Watford Junction. So, on our existing Milton Keynes layout, we've got a very big Milton Keynes sign which sits uh, up against the fiddle yard and people can see it from the scenic section. Right. So with the next layout, what we want to do is again have station signage, but this time it's going to be on the uh, scenic side. So it's not, it doesn't need to be as big as the Milton Keynes sign. So we're just going to work out, trying to work out how big it, it needs to be because we're going to accommodate um, the destination boards from UK departure boards and under each one we're going to have the live information from Bushy and Milton and Watford Junction. Uh, we're not going to use the big boards like we've done for the Milton Keynes one because it doesn't need to be as big because you, you, the public will be closer to it so we're going to use these medium sized ones so we're trying to design the station name board to be proportioned with the destination board. Does it say there'll be more destination boards on the layout? There will be, yes. So yeah. there'll be two live destination boards, one for Bushy and one for Watford Junction. And then we're going to have another four model railway destination boards that are either side of Bushy and Watford Junction. So in total, we'll have six model railway destination boards. So, Chris, does that mean you're going to link them all up then? So they say relevant information for the next train Cor coming. Correct. That, that's the challenge uh, that we've set ourselves. So as one train goes through Bushy and then on to Watford Junction and on to Milton Keynes, it will show that same train running between all three, but at different times. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Who's Should doing that? You. So Dan and I are kind of trying to sort that out. All right. How's your wiring, programming, logic, everything else, and woodworking, Dan? Uh, computer side stuff, good, um, which is why we're doing it. <laughs> but yeah, we're just trying to figure out um, logically, hopefully, 
with the progression, if we get Bushy and then it says calling at, you know, Watford and Milton Keynes, we don't want it to be then going through Watford and saying calling at Watford and Milton it's Keynes because it just spoils the whole realism, yes, right? Yes. So yeah, that's so what we're figuring out. Is this currently. Arduino programming? Uh, so a bit of bit, bit of Arduino, a uh, bit of Raspberry Pi in the actual destination boards. Uh, Russell from UK Departure Boards is helping us with all of that. Good. Uh, so he's upgrading the firmware for us. Brilliant. Look forward to seeing its progress. Thank you. So this will be done next week, will it? Uh, not quite. <laughs> Are we saying 80 centimetres then? Yeah, I think so. So that will be it. Yeah. There's a lot. It is a lot of text to get in, isn't it? Really. Yeah. So, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> so we're gonna have that there. Yeah. 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 That do that. And you've got Watford, Watford Junction. Yeah. You got him. All, All right. Well, wouldn't yeah. it? Eighty <laughs> centimeters. It is yeah. there. <laughs> okay. Pete's playing trains. Yeah. That's a new toy. Very rare. Going in these days. Okay. So we'll get it all off. Get it on tomorrow. Yeah. No way to do it. Forget that. I'll bring me, me big sander and it'll uh, Oh the Pete's got one here, haven't they? No, no. Hey, a, a good sander. Yeah. 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 Test successful? But it didn't fall off. So Pete, looks like you've been busy. Yeah, very busy, Dave. So what we're trying to do now is literally get all of the track down so we can start to lay out the, the way it works. Um, unlike modeling 12 or 13 feet, we're modeling so much that to get it to look right, it's a combination of fill doing the computer program and using your eye to make it look right. Right. To do that, you need to, the boards in line. You need them joined so that you can actually see how it works. So, because, as you know, from day one, we've never had 74 feet in a straight line. Right. Never been able to do that. So, now we've got effectively, what, three 74 feet. We've got even less chance of doing it. So we've worked out, currently in the workshop, how to do it. You've got Watford Junction behind you. This is where Robin is now. That's Watford Junction up that way. We come round the curve up Bushy. This is the viaduct. And that's four lines in parallel. All the way around. Looks great. And then we, this is uh, a roundabout here and, and uh, a viaduct. This is obviously an embankment. we we'll come round again, and then you'll see this is not straight now because we go into Bushy Station here, roughly at the end of the first station. There's a very long station, this. Right. And it's slightly set off, so it's at a slight angle, which Phil's gonna do all the drawing which we put on the boards. Then what we've got to do... Is anybody over the blue man there? Uh, that'll be one of the twins, so Daniel. Daniel! Yeah? Can you just move your car? Yeah. Just move your car. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we have to put the track down there. Phil, this week we'll bring the viaduct in. We need to get the copper clubs in on there so we can separate this off. Because we've now, to get this lined up, we need to join two more of the baseboards to build the station because that's what I'm saying. You're now at the size on, on the layout like this where you need them bolted together right. to see overall. And we put Phil's templates like we did on Watford Junction. <coughs> we stick to Phil's templates, but then we make the track line up to Phil's templates. Right. Because... Um, then you know it'll be right. Yeah, and you've got to use your eye to get that, that curve. Right. It, it's, it's not like that you can sort of do it any other way. You've got to make it look right, you know, as opposed to uh, just being right. It's got to look right. So if we come over here, this is then, then so what we see is, is like a jigsaw puzzle. Yep. You've got Watford Junction, which goes on the end of there. You're mm. going to have Bushy here. Then we go to the fiddle yards. Mm -hmm. But then we've got a piece of the, the jigsaw that doesn't fit this jigsaw. Right. Because what we've done, um, which they wanted uh, for the show, is they wanted a different section. So what we've done is we've built a section that isn't four track. Right. But of course, you've got to fit it into a four track right. railway. So over here, we've got a piece that makes no common sense at all because it's not part of this layout. Right. So uh, if you step over here. Oh. Right. So, so what we've got here is 16 feet. That's nothing to do with the layout we're building in the workshop at the minute. Right. Because this goes in between Milton Keynes and Rugby. Okay. Because this is Blissworth. So you've got the crossover and the stone side at Blissworth. Okay. So we've lined this up so we know this bit lines up. I haven't lined the end up yet. But of course, as you can see from just looking at this, this back section's up in the air. Right. Because if you remember at Milton Keynes, well you won't remember, but at Milton Keynes, you come out the tunnel and you come you above this line. Right. So now what we've got, of course at home we want a two track railway. There will be a baseboard go down the back here and hide that track. Okay. Right, so you won't see this at all. So this will go down the bottom when we join this to um, the tunnel which you, if you remember I'm making tracks at the Milton Keynes with a big chimney, big, big yeah. air vent. That goes on there and the backboard will cut off the second entrance to the tunnel. Right. So you'll come out, you'll go in at Kilsby Tunnel, right. but you'll come out as a two track right. which is at Stoke. So, so you go into Blissworth, but you come out of Stowe Tunnel. Right. So you won't see, you just, as a spectator, you won't see the change. You'll just see four track in, two track out. Because right. obviously what happens at Killsby is one line goes off to Northampton, but doesn't come back into road. Right. Um, the tunnel that you see come out of at Stowe mm. is it, it's just a double. So you come out here, a double. So this is... Um, working out the curve to get it lined up but also there's um, a power box on this plus some cabins there is a canal here we were going to put the canal in we haven't got time to, right. again it's oh yeah it's you, know, you can see we've started to put the catenary up mm. the thing about the catenary on this layout which is very different is we've got to keep it simple because we haven't got We've lost two months effectively, right? Because normally we have April, May, and June. Mm -hmm. But we haven't got April, and we haven't got May, and we certainly haven't got June. So we've lost 12 weeks. Right. So what we're doing is we're going to put all the track down, then get Aaron in to show us exactly how he wants his tensioners in. Right. Because we already know that we've got a, you know, that, that this is. Well, if you could just get, if we just pop over here. Look, You can see over here, 
That's the only single mast on the whole layout. That piece there. Okay. That bit between Watford Tunnel and Watford High Road. Oh, I can't. Remember, that's I can't remember where that is. St Albans Road, I think it is. That's the only bit that's single gantry. All the rest is doubles or triples. So for the first time, these stations have got a leg in the middle. So yeah. they're where, if you remember on Melton Keynes, they're doubles or they're the full length. Right. Not at not at Watford Junction. Right. The three spans. Right. And the same on Bushy three spans so again it's a different sort of catenary also I've noticed that that's unique to, to, to this area is there's still some of the BR1 stuff some of the original stuff is in, in, in situ right. so some of the, the masts are modern but there are still quite a few old fashioned big ones and we did put one of those on making tracks one and I will build one on here because uh, they're quite unique. They're they're old fashioned. BR one is the wiring, the electrical wiring standard, is it? It's the, it's the way that the first electrification right. mass worked right. out. Right. Um, so what we're going to do this, what we're doing again, which is slightly different, we're putting in the grass, but we're not putting in the bushes. Right. Uh, not until actually we've got the overheads in. Okay. We'll get the overheads in and then we'll look at the bushes. Right. Uh, so you'll add the clutter when, when it's convenient? Well, what I don't want to do, which I've learnt, mm. is when you add the detail which we're adding, you do more damage to your scenery mm. than if you put your scenery in last. Right. So get your detail in, because mm. you're leaning on baseboards and things. Right. Get that in. And with your static grass shakers, you're banging things. Yeah. Do that last. Right. Do your bushes and your trees, all that last because it's all simple to put in. Well, it's not. Right. It's a big job, but I mean, right. it's easier to do it that way around. On the baseboard we just looked at, where you're hiding two tracks, is that the freight that will be hidden? <coughs> the slow lines. That's the slow. Right. Yeah, because as I say, <laughs> when you come down from uh, um, from Rugby, uh, Hillmorton Junction. If you remember, there's two. Yeah. One comes down the viaduct, one goes up the middle. Well, one goes off to Northampton mm. from Rugby, one goes to London. Right. So that Northampton line comes back in at Road, which is after Blissworth Junction. Right. So on the real railway, you come out of Stowe Tunnel by Stowe School. Mm. And then it's, you go through uh, Blissworth, then round the corner is where the Northampton line comes back in under that big girder bridge right so we'd love to I'd love to model that but there is no room because it's that would take you 40 feet at yeah. least right so we come out of snow we go through here and I've always been intrigued by Blissworth because it's got a stone yard it's got a lovely hotel there called the Walnut mm. um, and it's where originally the line used to come in from Toaster and go out to Northampton. So right. it was at one time when I first started travelling, mm. it was quite. It was a very busy little junction, but of course it's all gone now. You've still got the Stone Yard, mm. and so with the Stone Yard, Andy can have all his tampers and all. I think he's as happy as a sad boy. Mm. Um, and it, it's quite a nice little feature in the, in, in the middle of the layer. It's different. Right. Very good. Look forward to seeing it. I'll be here next week to see the uh, fire duct going. We'll be here. Do you remember on which board that's on? It's on making tracks two, which is all the way over here, Pete. Do you want the dimensions on it? Yeah. Please. So which building's that? That's the relay room we had on making tracks too. The rugby end. Right. What dimension do you want, Pete?
So that's 250. Two fifty. Two fifty by seventy. That's all right. Maybe you'll notice. Fifty by what? Uh, Two fifty. Please. So what? Fifty or fifty-five? Fifty. fifty. It has to be. Or well, you could get fifty-five. Phil. Yeah. Fifty-five. Yeah. What's that going to be? For speed? That's the um, si uh, relay room. Relay room, the old signal box. Oh, right. No, you're only having one shot. You're not having that bit, are you? Well, we, we will do on Watford Junction. Cause well, it, cause Tom it's listen, hold on here. Give me a drawing like this, what do you want? Uh, you've got three sides, have you? We've got, well, we, we want... Th oh, we want three eyes. And then we can sort the struts out after, can't we? Yes. So they're so, all 800? Yes. Yeah. Right. And they're all 23 high. They're all 230 30 high. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, what am I making? You've got the sign, haven't you? I'm not making that bit, am I? Yeah, these are the bits we want you to make. Cause, oh, cause what out of? Anything, anything you want. Why? Yeah. Because what we're going to do then is... Screw put, them to it? Is, if you, no, we're going to put some perspex, white perspex on the top and put the lettering on. You know, like I did for the oh, Keen right. Central oh, yeah. one. So you're going to stick yeah. the ply... The, so yeah. if I make you... They're out of plywood? Yes. You, you can just stick then we're going to stick, we're going to, we're going to stick first specs on the top. So I'll make them three. first and you can get, be getting yeah. on with them. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So just three? Three of those, yeah. One for Watford Junction, yeah. one for Bushy, and one for the Harry Potter sign. Yeah. Uh, so there's your Bushy one. Similar idea. So Watford, Watford HP is Bushy, Bushy, and that's and going to be Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter? Yeah, because yeah, it's, got, got, it's got the light here for the Warner Brothers Wizarding World tour, which is massive. Quite interesting. Oh, it's the right. whole, that is a huge thing for what... When I, when I give you them, yeah. we'll sort out then, when I've done the back scenes, yeah. where you actually want them. Okay, right. so, so the other thing, just to so say you've got it in your head, yeah. we're going to have another four of these. As well? Of these, yeah. So we need a four, another four of these. Well, you'll have to give me one then, because I can't. Yeah, that's I'm, fine. I don't want to measure it. Yeah, no, no, I agree. I agree. So I'll take this apart, and then you can take that away. Yeah, take that off. Yeah, and then I can just check that. Take that away. Yeah, yeah. Take it now, and then I can get them done this week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll sort that with the ice then, can't we? Yeah. We've done it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we'll put it on the back so you can find out what I. Yeah. Just them struts want to be. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. because basically the Watford and the Harry Potter one again, it'll be Watford and Harry Potter on top of each other, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, what I want to know is how many eight foot ones we want. Well, there's seven, including this one, there's seven on the front. No, forget that one. So there's six on the front. This, this, one's, just, this one's only seven, 17 on the Yes. Somewhere. Right. So I'll forget that, I've got them measured. So there's, there's six then on the front, yeah. I need one. Yeah. I'm sure we've got one spare, so that's five. Yeah. And it's a question of how many we're going to go back this way, how far we're going to go back. Which is up to Pete. Which, what, which way? That way. Because there's a station going there. Yeah. So it's a question yeah. how many boards are going to be seen by going that way? You said four altogether, including that. Well, that's the so that's three? Yeah. So what are we doing? Right? Ten? Uh, six plus three is nine. Yeah. But I'm sure there's a spare one. So it is. How's it going, John? We're still getting there, Dave. As I say, it's just a case of getting the, the inside and the outside of the rail done the face and the chair but nothing else so you spend half your time taking it back off because obviously the longer you go and it starts drying on the brush it just opens the bristles out a bit but let me finish this job and then we'll go try four of them four of those yeah so as you can see there, it's me just being a little bit too pedantic, but it's just crept out a little bit. Some of it's all right because it just looks like a bit of weathering, but you obviously don't want to hear it all over a sleeper every now and again. So it's just about giving it like a slight cue, so you end up actually dry brushing it, to be honest. Right. And then just building it up where you think it's a little bit patchy. You better. It's one of those jobs. Less is more. Not busy at this point. Yeah, just sort of open. It's more rem rem reminiscent of my model train sets, if you will. Well, which, which has been, other than the viaduct, obviously, 
which has bit of, been a bit of a departure for yes. us this year. There's a lot of this is is actually flat. There's not a lot of embankment. There's a lot, lot a lot of cutting on this section. We've got a bit of everything on this layer, haven't we? Yeah. Really. And now we've got obviously the four the four tracks going into two as well, which mm. is a nice feature. So, like you see, a little bit of everything. The tunnel. Yeah. Right where you had all the problems. Yeah. There's a bridge sat there, isn't there? With a concrete lid. One of twice yeah, it's exactly the same but wider. Yeah, it's so exactly the same but wider. So I've used your piece of wood here. Carry on. One that wide. Yeah, because we did it narrow, didn't we? Correct, because it's a farm bridge. Yeah. So I want it as a proper bridge. Yeah, <coughs> so the front well and the back, perfect. Are the tracks in the same place? Yeah. Yeah, because it's going in exactly the same place. Yeah, because it's got to join the Finley Island, haven't they? Yeah, aren't we going to go through that tunnel and go straight into the so, hey. no. No. no, this is the. No. no, this is where it's like I'm saying. But we're very careful, we're getting confused here. Right, there's so many different parts. <laughs> so that bridge, what I'm going to say is. Don't worry about this till Thursday. No, no, I'm just saying to you. You've got it, so don't think we'll remake it because all I want to do is widen it. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll worry about it on Thursday. Fine. How many eight foot baseboards altogether? Three. Eight altogether faces. Three at the back, five at the front, eight plus that one that was there. I've just took it. Yeah, so it's nine including that one. So I've got to make eight. Yeah, yeah. that'll do. Right. I'm getting stuff tomorrow. Right. Eight only. Yep. Yeah, because it's seven new ones, minus the one of six. Minus the one we've got there is five for this side, and three for that one is eight. Right. And that's what I said plus to you originally. <laughs> I can go to four or three, it didn't matter to me, but we agreed on three. You don't three. want to get to end, what are you doing there, putting a tunnel in? No, I'll go for bridging. Right. Oh, lovely so you need bridge. a battery in it, though. To that, just to that board, board yeah. yeah. And then right. what I'll do, come out of the station, gives me eight foot, yeah. to bring the track together again, and to go through the arches at Carpenter's Park. Right, so you need eight, plus these two. Yeah, and that one, and that one. That one, I've got all to that. This is where you get one food. man working and seven working on. If I take that, I see you, Robin. I might, you might have to run that big one, but to our else for me, Pete, because you can't get in his car. Pete, which one? That bigger down there. Oh, the back seat. I'm not making tracks one. I've got to alter it. Okay, yeah, I'll get that. Cause it, we need a deep one here, but it's not as deep as that. I'll get that. The point is, we're getting some more stuff. No, I'll get it to you. I'll get you. I can borrow Dave's van. Can uh, Steve's van, bring it over, yeah. Can you? It won't yeah. be this week. No, it's not, right? I'll be in London now till Thursday. Right.